Surviving my HBCU. I'm a junior here at Jackson State University. My major is journalism and media studies with a concentration in multimedia journalism. Once I kind of got here, that kind of changed. And we still figuring things out. Trust. So, yeah. This video is just going to be the rundown. Jackson State, what you need to know before you... You know if you're deciding to come here if you're having second thoughts this is from a jackson state student right here let's just get into it <clears throat> there comes a time where we have to address that there is some there are some fundamental issues across the board with our hbcus coming here was kind of gonna be like I feel like I was gonna be comfortable don't get comfortable rule number one starting college do not get comfortable do not get comfortable you really have to be motivated and determined to really get through and just you gotta pay some big money to come here so if you come here to play games don't even come you know save yourself whatever time from the jump, you are going to have to deal with financial aid and the business office. Be prepared to deal with financial aid and the business office. This is with any, not just Jackson State, this is with any HBCU, any college, okay? Let's not even just minimize it to HBCUs. The business office and financial aid, heavy on financial aid. They will give you the runaround. It will not be an easy, smooth transition. So I encourage you to get whatever you have in order. Get on that. Don't waste time with your scholarships, okay? Really do like the work. Let's get into some pros and cons about Jackson State. And I'm gonna get into it. I'm going to get into it. Because don't nobody else want to do it. If don't nobody else want to do it, I'm going to do it. Now, I think we ought to address the most pressing matter first. The moment I moved in to my dorm, I was made aware that do not drink the water. Do not wash your dishes with the water. Do not let the water get in your eyes, your mouth, your anything. They're giving out cases of water. I got three sitting in my kitchen now. One in my trunk. It's like, people were sending us water. And it's like, y'all. Thank let me Let me make this clear first. This is not a Jackson State issue. This is not a Jackson State specific issue. This is a whole city of Jackson issue. That's why I said it's the most, you know, pressing matter. Because it's not just Jackson State, and we understand it is not Jackson State's fault. But I will say that Jackson State University as a whole could have done better to accommodate to the students who didn't know that they were coming into this kind of environment. You know, I guess we should have done our research, but it's nothing like actually experiencing it. Like, we're on the news. Like, people send me... Text, I get texts all the time. Yeah, I got water. What's going on? Can you take a shower? You know, yeah, we can. You know, we, for the most part, I will say I'm blessed because I feel like my dorm hasn't been affected as much as other places on campus. Now, there are some people who have had to move out of their dorms because there was no like water, no way for them to take a shower. Not even a way for you to wash your clothes because of course, if the water pressure is down, 
you can't, you know, wash your clothes in the area. So you have to go outside of the campus to even wash your clothes. And, it, and it's funny because I'm paying $4,000 for a dorm that is supposed to meet my needs, my home away from home. But you're telling me that I have to go off campus to wash my clothes and then on top of that, you're not even providing transportation for that. You know, simple things like that kind of threw me off. And I guess, like, students started to talk and say, um, I didn't know it was going to be like this. So be prepared for that. You know, it is a water crisis down here. It's still going on. Most of the articles that you see say that it's been over. You know, it's January 2023, and I'm still using bottled water to brush my teeth. Jackson State could have done better. They could have done better. We had, I mean, they tried. They really did try. I mean, we had um, portable showers. <gasps> like, they had showers set up outside of the dorm. So, you have to leave your dorm to go take a shower outside. Like a porta potty or something. They had porta potties too. But it was like a porta shower. So, you go outside to take a shower and have to come back in your dorm out the shower. By the time I get to my room, I need to take another shower. Because, who knows, it might be raining. By the time you get out, you know, like, it was crazy. And also, if you have a car, you will, I mean, if you're planning on coming down here with a car, beware, beware that there are potholes everywhere. There are potholes literally everywhere. I drive swallowed up by the potholes. Beware. Even when the, it looked like the road is smooth. It's not. It's gonna make you turn your radio down and everybody in the car gotta shut up. Beware of the potholes. It's probably one of the reasons the uh, Sanders left. Well, since we, since we on the topic, Deion Sanders and I am so, I honestly, I'm, as a student of Jackson State University, I'm grateful for the publicity, the attraction, the opportunities that he brought to this school. But Deion Sanders does not define Jackson State University. Because remember, you ain't on the football team. So it's not going to be the, the same, okay? And you still just in college, okay? But it's like, now that he's left, what was he gonna do? I ain't even ever seen him. I hope that Jackson State can highlight other areas of the campus that are top tier, top tier professors, top tier work, they will challenge you. I mean, the opportunities that are within this campus are numerous, limitless. There are people put in place to guide you through the whole process. I mean, um, they provide free therapy to all students of Jackson State. All you have to do is be a student and you get therapy. Um, I go. She's a wonderful person. Love her. Um... Yeah, and it, it sometimes it's needed because this is college, y'all. Like I said in the beginning, it's not easy. And I, that's why I feel like the bonds that you create here will, will forever be in your heart because it's like almost a trauma bond. Because, <laughs> no, for real, because everybody here is just broke, stressed out, got six assignments due at 11.59 and it's 10 o'clock. But we pull each other through. Like I said, there's so many opportunities here to get into. I, me being a journalism major, I'm a part of the Blue and White Flash. And then they also have JSU Tiger Report. The people within those organizations are so helpful. They will be willing to talk to you. They give you, they give out their number. They, I mean, it's just so much y'all here. That's why I'm grateful for this school, but at the same time, we got to get it together. We ain't perfect, but point me to a perfect college. Point me to one. Jackson State is not perfect. Um, probably will never be, 
but we're gonna we're gonna try to get there. It's 2023. You know, it's I want I want this to be. I feel like this is gonna be a year of growth, a year of maturity, a year of blessings. I hope that this year is amazing for everybody watching this video. Even if you're not watching this video, hope it's amazing for you too. Um, pray, keep God on your side, keep Him first. Cause when I think of the goodness. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you think I'm funny, if you think I'm cute, if you think you like, if you like my setup, if you want to see more video, my yoga is gone, but if you want to see more videos, please subscribe, please like the video, please tell your friends to watch it. If you got a friend that's thinking about coming to Jackson State, you know, hit me up. I will put my socials in the description box. First episode of Mimi TV is out. Oh.